हे गाइस वेलकम टू द बिजनेस ऑफ कंटेंट और मेरा नाम है सागर गोखले और आज के पॉडकास्ट में एक बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग गेस्ट है इनका नाम है पारस शर्मा और ये हेड ऑफ कंटेंट है मेटा के लिए अक्रॉस ऑल प्लेटफॉर्म्स कंटेंट पार्टनरशिप्स एंड कम्युनिटीज के ये हेड हैं तो वेलकम टू द शो पारस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सागर थैंक यू प्रिवलेज टू बी हेयर एंड एक्साइटेड टू हैव दिस चैट पिछले दो साल तो मेटा के लिए इंडिया में बहुत ही लाइक एक्सप्लोजिव रहे राइट स्पेशली बिकॉज ऑफ द एडिशन ऑफ रील्स व्हाट्सएप ऑब्वियसली बहुत बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट है इंडिया में फेसबुक इज आल्सो देयर हाउ आर यू गाइस सीइंग दिस मार्केट आर यू गाइस सीइंग दिस मार्केट एज द नेक्स्ट बिग मार्केट टू अमेरिका और आधे आधे मार्केट इन द मिडल लाइक वॉट्स द वॉट्स द स्ट्रैटेजी एट अ मेटा लेवल की मतलब ये क्या होने वाला है वॉट इज द मैडनेस दैट इज गोट हैपन इन दिस content space because everybody wants to yeah. become popular everybody wants to be a content creator everybody wants to monetize their content right so i think uh, beach make survey bhi hua tha ki where most of the kids turned around and said that you know we would rather become a content creator than yeah. a pop star than a uh, <laughs> like any of the other professions yeah. right so and this is the real state so what do you think about that how are you guys grabbing this opportunity in a country like india yeah no it's a, a couple of things i think the way that we look at it first we let's look at from the demand side mm. if you look at a market mm. india is what currently at around some 800 odd million internet population and it's expected to grow to 900 by 2025 yeah currently within that 800 million odd internet population 60% are mm. consuming video as a format mm. Now the 60% are huge. If you look at 60%, great of mm. the 800 million. But if you look at market like Indonesia, mm. that is 70%. If you look at US, is 80%. Mm. If you look at China, is 90%. Which means there's a huge headroom mm. for to more grow. people to consume the video content. Mm. That's from the demand side. If you look at from now the supply side, mm. one of the reports said that there are 100 million creators in India. Mm. Uh, now again, the way that you and I look at creators, there are different definition, but let's call it that that's a total supply mm. of creators. And if you look at India currently, there's a eight to nine percent of the internet population are what is termed as creators. Mm. That number is 25 percent in China, mm. which means again there's a huge headroom for to the grow. growth in the creator ecosystem. Now the third thing which if you look at it's not about the size it's also the shape mm. of the pyramid what we have seen is that and uh, of course uh, reels has played a huge role in unlocking uh, all the barriers of creation and distribution and the creation therefore right now sagar is no longer what you and i would have seen few years back centered in metros centered around macro cultural movements in a certain language of a certain polished high quality production now it's coming from the tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 towns in different languages of a different quality and format but very well appreciated mm. we ourselves are seeing a program that we launched because our aim is that if we are a, a significant player in the ecosystem it's not about just extracting the value which is current but how do you build it for future and and with that aim in mind we built born on instagram where mm. we said okay how do we educate people in their journey when they are currently experimenting or aspiring to be a creator the last number of course the numbers have grown but the last public uh, numbers that we talked about of the platform is around 250000 creators were engaged on born on instagram 45% of those are coming from tier 3 tier 4 towns yeah that's where we see the growth coming in from mm. and the other unique aspect that we see is that if you look at what they are producing uh, and again it's a part of we always say that what gets produced is a reflection of society mm. uh, one thing which you ch- seen changing is that no longer the creation or expression is getting centered around the macro culture movements which were produced by few entities mm. or economic interests there are now emergence of micro cultural movements and that leads to like genres sub genres like so, so for example uh, let's say the entertainment mm. as we saw in the past mm. was all around soaps and movies yes right mm. and that's therefore was the primary format of content yes. or genre of content which was getting created yeah. now we have people creating content on mental health yeah fitness mm. food of certain natures yes women issues yes child issues yes fintech so there are multiple sub genres and micro communities there are communities extremely strong communities like we have on facebook group where people connect on office memes mm. and they discuss and engage and create content around it yeah there are groups of hundreds and thousands of people who come and connect and talk about the gardening tips in balcony 
So there is an emergence and acceptance that I don't need to belong to big macro culture. Mm. If I have an interest, there's a community, I will come and connect with that and I will create content around it. So that segmentation of those multiple microculture movements or sub genres, whichever way we define it, is what we see as the emerging part of it. That's one dimension. Then the other dimension which I see is that if you look at creators, we very strongly believe as a company that if you look at the future value of media ecosystem, mm. we believe that a very strong part of that future value will be attributed to an individual, mm. not to an organization. Mm. And that individual is the creator. Mm. And, and I personally believe that creators are the new IPs and it's upon them to think of them that they are and, and they can play, they're not mutually exclusive, they can be as a marketer mm. or they can be a brand in themselves. If you look at core, creators create content, brands create products and services. Mm. What I see in opportunity is that creators creating products and services and becoming a brand in their own right. That's the opportunity of tremendous opportunity we see. And we have examples in front of us. We have Fazu, of course, created a brand. We have Deepika who's created a brand of that scale. Yes. We have Vishnu Kaushal who's created a brand, Peach. And we have a creator called Vaishnavi, mm. who is from Raigarh. Mm. And who probably doesn't have a following like that. But she has a Navi fashion. She is also Navi style. She's also mm. created a brand. So we see more and more of that nature which is taking place. More creators becoming cognizant of how can they realize the economic value more by becoming brands. Not everyone needs to be a brand. Yes. Many of them will continue to be marketers and sellers, but they need to then create their own IP. Yes. And we see there's a huge opportunity in that area, which is coming in as we look forward. Mm. No, but this is very, very exciting. Yeah? So if Meta is also looking at it this way, obviously, Pez, yeah. Deepika, all of these drive a certain number of footfalls on their IDs and hence yeah. launching a brand makes sense for them. But if you're seeing this, because obviously there's a disruption on the supply side also, when yep. you look at now creating a product is not very difficult. Mm -hmm. It used to be very, very difficult right. when you wanted to create a product maybe 10 years back. Today, I think you can go a website and pretty much order your product and customize yep. it. So you see more and more people doing this, right? Maybe a physical product or a digital mm -hmm. product, which could be also yep. a, a way to be, go. You are seeing that this zada se zada hone yep. with more and more creators at a scale but when you're looking at the headroom yeah. right in the market like you're saying that okay uh, we need to get here what are going to be the drivers like what are yeah. going to be the main drivers is language the biggest driver yeah uh, so language in india as a market definitely is but i'll tell you one interesting thing about language mm. there are two ways to look at language and mm. two ways to look at the headroom one is that the entire uh, notion of that you can only be successful if you have X million mm. followers. Mm. I don't think that's correct. Mm. There is a set of people who would have that because they will create a content of a certain nature or in a certain language which mm. is understood by a large number of population because of Bad the on. demographics. Mm. At the same point of time, there are strong communities. Mm. When I say strong in terms of the level that they engage mm. and the meaningful size which can give a good economic value. And therefore, therefore, language is not a is not a barrier at all. You can create if you are a language creator, you can have in absolute terms a smaller following, but you can still have a meaningful business because those number of people will be willing to put their money where their mouth is and both will continue to exist. So there will be co two ecosystems and I have examples in our creator ecosystem. There are uh, I don't remember the names of the cuff, but who are creating content for moms mm. or they're creating content around women health or women issues. Now they will probably not have 50 million followers, but the number of followers that they have, the brands who want that kind of audience to reach out, they're reaching out to them. So meaningful content, which is going out. So I think the whole term, so every platform, I mean, in my experience yeah. also starts with the reach metric, right? You yeah. always find the big reach guys, right? The people, those who do 20 million views, 30 million views, yeah. millions of followers, but later on maybe in a year or so everybody reaches that place where meaningfulness engagement yeah. those metrics start dominating and like my personal call on this was that you know this is going to be the year of experts yeah right where yes you will have your superstars those who have 10 million 20 million following and big brands will want to come and work yeah. with them especially the pepsis and the cokes and all of those guys those who want the big big reach numbers but when you want to be specific, like somebody talking, yeah, I'll tell you a video about gardening. Yeah. Right? 
we only have 50k as a community yep. but that community is very very active and a gardening brand will want to come and work with them yep. so i think personally even i think that this is very and coming from you yeah i think this is all the validation that all the creators yep. need as an and actor. also uh, just to add to this thing like if someone has a com- and I've, i've continued with the example of the gardening one mm. if there are a couple of hundred thousands in that group mm. and if you therefore engage with the creator who's creating that you will mm. definitely reach that particular audience mm. but then there are media tools available mm. if you do the bca branded content tizing mm. then you can reach to a large unconnected audience yes if you now look at beyond instagram reels and you can cross post the same to facebook mm. then you have a large unconnected audience who would also may have the similar interest yes so there's a ways to increase your reach yeah. in multiple ways and means as well yeah no 100% 